Lesson four, authentication, lesson 21. That's right, lesson 21. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, check this out. Whenever we fill out a form and we fail validation, our value disappears. Like, that value, it, it was good. I don't wanna have to retype it every time. So what we're doing today is when a form fails validation, when a request and its input fail validation, we are going to redirect the user back with the given validation errors, but we're also going to populate the form with the previous values from the failed attempt. So you don't have to refill out everything. So how do we do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's a little, uh, it's got a little funkiness to it, but not much. Go to our session validator. So in the bootstrap foundation, and then when we go to HTTP session. So the first field here is the input. So what we want to do is we want to say, okay, if validator fails, then we want to flash and then set old as input. All right, so that's step one. Now every time we use our session validator and it fails, we also set the old input. So if we go to our login page, and that is going to be resources, views, and then auth login dot blade dot PHP. Then we do like add JSON session flash and then get old. What happens? Well, let's try this out. We get our old value, right? That's exactly what we want. So the question is, how do we actually populate our input fields with the old form data? Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we go like this. We go value equals old and then key. So this would be email. And then password is kind of a weird one, but for the sake of example, we'll populate it and we'll say old password. Just like that. Okay. So to get this set up, that means we have to add a global helper function. Now this helper function is going to be called old. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All it's going to do is it's going to say, if no function exists, if we don't have a function called old yet, let's register it. And then let's do function old key. And we're gonna say input equals app. Ooh, not quite. What we wanna do is we wanna just say, okay, session and then get, or sorry, flash get and old. So that's gonna be the input, right? And so we just wanna basically say for each input as field, as the key and value as the value if key equals value return value. All right. Otherwise, don't return anything. You know, don't do anything with it. So let's dump our auto load. So let's do composer dump the auto load just like that. Let's see if this works. All right, so first we'll fill out that. We'll reload the page. What happened? Oh no. It's not working properly, right? Okay, so this gets really, really funky really quickly. So the problem is that the flash data gets overridden by the time we call this old helper function. While it's in blade though, it's still there. The problem is while it's here, once we get here, we're already past the point of where we've lost our flash data because flash data, session flash data, only stays or persists 
for one request. That request stays true. We still have our flash data within our blade template, but as soon as we send a function to the back end, things get funky and we can't really prove that it's there. So here's what we can do. We can go back to login.blade.php and within login.blade.php, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla PHP. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna say app or app PHP, add in PHP, and then we're going to say session and then flash get old just like that and then let's do input equals that okay so now that we got that set up we want to simply say app bind and then old input to this input then within our helper functions we want to say app resolve and then we want to say old input and then we're going to loop through it and return what we need to return so now let's do php slim view clear and composer dump auto load all right so let's see if that works now so we go right there and nada 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 so where's this leave us where does this leave us well what if we did something a little different what if we changed up the logic in our helper function just a bit and so now we're saying app resolve and then old input collect input filter by the value in the key and we're going to say if is set return field key then within our login .php, we're saying bind old input and then we're saying session flash get old and we're not going to do anything else with it that's good there we go <laughs> And yes, it is that little difference that makes this thing work. So we have to set it and bind it as old input. We have to directly set this. We can't set a variable. Within our helpers.php file, we have to resolve it. And then we have to return. We can't directly return the value. We have to return the array with the key. And honestly, I'm not sure why this thing is so thickly um, as far as what it wants but i have messed with this a lot now and it does work so now the real question is do we really want to be copying this at php bind old input session flash on every single page where we have a form like do we want people to depend on that Eh, i'd rather not so let's do this let's copy this right here and let's go to our uh, providers and let's go to our blade service provider and let's just add a new directive we're going to call this old and then you're simply going to say php and then da, 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 app bind old input session flash git old and then we'll close that php tag and la la then instead of doing that php tag up there all the time we can go down here right above our csrf and we can simply say old after that we will dump our auto load and then we're going to do php slim view clear all right so after we get that set up let's try this again Oop, unexpected and login.blade 
syntax error unexpected semicolon. What do you want to bet that is our directive? So bind right there. Forgot a semicolon or a parentheses. All right. So let's go back and let's go back to login. Hey, there we go. Hey, it worked. Um, there it is. And of course, if we want to switch that up, we want to do secret. Just like that. And of course, if we submitted both, then we would actually be able to log in. Um, so that is how you do that. But there's one last thing. Every time we have a form, we have to use this at CSRF, or we can't submit form data. We cannot have a form on our website without at CSRF. So, although this kind of breaks single responsibility a bit, wouldn't it make sense just to add that old expression, that one liner to the CSRF expression? So check this out. So right now, if we completely remove that and we reload our page, whoop, uh, class not found, old input. Of course it's not found because we're not binding it. So that's properly working. So what if we just take this snippet right here, remove that all together, and then we scroll down and we say, okay, echo, replace, replace. And then we're also going to say, so after the semicolon, we're going to add the app bind old input session, flash get old. So now on every single form, we're getting our old failed input, right? So now let's do composer dump auto load. Let's do PHP slim view clear. And let's see if this baby works. And it does. How about that? How cool is that, guys? All right, so yeah, that is uh, that is it, guys. That is the setup. Um, so now let's copy that. And actually, we don't have to copy anything, which is the best part about this. Let's go to register.blade.php. And all we're going to do is we're just going to say, you know, we already have the CSRF. So let's just do value equals old first name. And then we're going to do value equals old last name. Ooh, no, PHP storm don't freeze up. All right, there we go. And we're going to do value equals old email. And we'll leave off the passwords. So we don't have to auto populate all of our old form data. So we're just going to go and leave that as it is. You have to retype your password and confirm password. And on login.blade, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove the auto population of password. So if we do a composer dump auto load and PHP slim view clear one more time, then we reload our page. Then we go to register and we go p -p -p M S da 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 and then a dot t dot net or at net dot com and we'll just make these different passwords which will fail validation. Password does not match same. Ooh, I have an error right there. So then if we do do secret secret and we'll do test uh, test test and then test at example.com the passwords are secret of course if we register we are now logged in as welcome test and so we did not have to do all of the re typing that we already did. It's a, it's a lot better user experience, especially when you're developing. So now if we log out and we try to log in as that user, that does work. 
All right, guys, so that is all I got today. That is repopulating failed form request data with the failed request input. This is Zachary Horn with Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life, Simplify. Simplify.